Welcome to Georgia Pros, the new system for permit routing and optimization. Georgia Pros is designed to assist you in obtaining permits in the least possible time. This tutorial video will walk you through the basic steps of ordering a permit. Additional video tutorials are available for specific topics within the system. From your company dashboard, choose New Permit. If you are unsure of the permit type you need, a permit selection wizard is available to assist you. Your contact name, phone number, and email will be auto-filled with information in your company data section, but can be changed if needed. Choose your primary and, if desired, alternate delivery method for your permit. Permits can be downloaded or emailed and printed, or you can choose to have them faxed. A field is provided for a reference number for your internal business use if desired. Select your permit type from the list provided. For the purpose of this video, we will use the single trip permit. Enter a description of the load you will be carrying. Enter the desired start date for the permit. The end date will automatically be adjusted for you. Click Next to continue. At this point, a permit ID is available for you. This is an application number that can be referenced if you need to call the Georgia Permit Office with any questions. Select a vehicle from your inventory or add a new power unit if needed. A tutorial video on adding power units is available separately. Fill in any additional required information about the vehicle. You must attest that the load is not divisible or that hauling additional items does not create an additional overdimension. Enter the width, height, and length of the vehicle including the tractor in the fields provided. Then enter the gross vehicle weight and number of axles. Click Next to continue. Origin and destination can be entered by address, intersection, border crossing, by using the map, military bases, or ports. For this tutorial, we will include the section of I-85 from Alabama to South Carolina. Once locations are entered, Click Validate and Run to continue. Once the route is calculated, you will be prompted with a map of the route. Below the map, you will find detailed directions for the route. Always review the route and driving directions to make sure it meets your needs before submitting the permit application. If everything is suitable, click Next at the top right to continue. You will then be provided a review of the permit application and associated fees. If you are ready to order this permit, Click Submit to make payment.
payment can be made using an escrow account or a major credit card. If using a credit card for payment, a convenience fee of $7 per permit will be added. Click Submit to continue. Your permit application has been submitted. You can now order another permit or return to the dashboard to check the status of existing applications. A refresh button is available on the dashboard to update status. Once a permit is issued, the permit number will change to the actual permit ID. Click on this ID to view and print your permit. Don't forget that the driver must sign and date the permit in order for it to be valid. Thanks for watching. This concludes this tutorial video. Other videos are available for your convenience.